I'm going to demonstrate how to create a custom attribute in Aurelia. We'll use the AU generate attribute and the name of the attribute so that it will generate a custom attribute class for me. I'll open up the Visual Studio code and if you drill down into the resources, attributes, uppercase, it'll create a file named uppercase custom attribute. That's a convention that Aurelia uses. And this upper case is in Pascal case and that will become kebab case when you want to use it in HTML. So the generator has used the decorator at auto inject, which is going to be smart about using the metadata, that is the type of the constructor arguments, and then it'll figure out what instance need to be injected. In this case, it's going to inject an element of type, an object of type element class, which is of a type DOM element. Okay, and then by default, all these custom attributes will have a value property and then a convention method named value changed, which is going to take the new value and the old value as parameters. For example, if you were to give upper dash case equals hello, the new value will be hello and the old value will be a blank space. Now that we've defined a custom attribute named uppercase, let's see how to use it in app.html. We will require that custom attribute, require from resources slash attribute slash upper dash case and then we'll close the tag okay now we can give that upper dash case attribute in our h1 tag and we'll save it it should refresh the browser and we should be able to see that header in uppercase nothing happens here because we haven't added any code yet let me go into the constructor and the element that is injected is the element on which this attribute is defined like you've seen is defined on h1 so it's going to inject the element of type h1 here and then we're going to use this dot element dot style property and it's a dynamic property so that typescript will not like it it'll show a red squiggly but you can ignore that error and then the name of the property is called text transform which is a css property and the value should be uppercase and now if you go back it'll render the h1 tag in uppercase There we go. Now that we've rendered the h1 tag in uppercase, I would like to change the compose element also to use this attribute. If you noticed, I've used a special view called to do-upper, which is explicitly calling the description to uppercase JavaScript property or method. Now we will just use the same uh, to do HTML view, but then we'll add this attribute called upper-case. So I'm going to remove this dash upper just use the regular view which is going to render as it is but then this upper dash case will intercept that and change and add the um, CSS style text transform um, let me save this and we can add a debugger breakpoint to see how the constructor is being invoked let me go into the source attribute resources attributes and uppercase I'll put a breakpoint in the constructor so let me do a refresh here as you can see the first element is going to be h1 as you can see it says h1.au-target and then the next one will be the compose as you can see it says compose.au-target and then the next one will also be another compose element because we have two items in order to do there we go let's add one more item call it task3 and hit add and that should also trigger the um, constructor as well, as well so as you can see it triggered the constructor and it set the style property of text dash transform to uppercase so this is very handy you can use the custom attribute and then you can define the logic in the constructor or in the value change property